Right, hey, today we're going to do a little skit on uh, this last console mail mine, and uh, we'll go give you a rundown of this thing. First of all, this goes on your chainsaw. It's got the numbers up the fronts here. I don't know, they probably don't show up on there, but it goes in one inch all the way, all the way up to uh, 13 inches, and uh, these are usually 24 inches width. And uh, you can just adjust them. This is little U-clamps here. You can raise that up, cut them as thick as you want. Now, with this being in operation, there's a few things you need to take into consideration. Your saw being a big one. Now, first thing about your saw is you don't want your chain so tight that it's not. You got to have a little give in your chain. What happens is if you got that too tight. You're gonna burn the clutch out of your saw, so you want your saw, you want them to be able to pick up, not the tooth come all the way out of the bar, but just to pick up. That's number one. Number two, when you bolt this on, when you bolt the sawmill on, you do not want it to extend all the way to the end of your bar. There's a bearing in there that you do not want this to be clamped down on top of that bearing. That'll mess you up. Good sharp chain. There's two different kinds of chains you can use. There's a regular rip chain, or you can use a regular chain. Now, I'm going to use a regular chain on this. I've really, I've used them both. I've not seen a lot of difference in, you know, the two, other than the smoothness of the cut. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. First thing you're going to do is lay your saw on its side. This slides onto your saw, just like this. These open up right here on them clamps. You just slide your saw into there, just like that. You'll center that saw on there. Now most of these come with a torque spec to torque them down to. I just go tight. But on this one, this is 10 to 12 foot pounds at 14 to 17. So we'll just do that right there. Most of these are half inch, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down, and I'll get right back with you as soon as I get these tightened up. Okay, next next thing we're going to go over before we get started on this is safety. Uh, number one, like uh, my hoodie strings, you don't want anything to interfere with that, and uh, I don't want to get my hoodie strings hung up in that chain. It can be catastrophic, fatal in some cases. So I just tie them up and I stick them down in my shirt. Um, you're going to need a good pair of uh, eye protection. And then you're going to need some hearing protection. You only get you only get one set of those in your whole life. So make use of them. Don't hurt them too bad. And you need some kind of hand protection. All right, I'm going to get this started up. What I, what this does, what this is designed to do is run your saw flat across there. I've set it one inch right here. That's that's how thick I'm going to be cutting these slabs is one inch. This is lumber for my barn, and uh, it's one inch siding on there. So I'll get this started up. One thing I'm going to say before you start this up, make sure your brakes on double check make sure you're in the center of your bar and that you're not clamped onto your chain or your bearing in the end so I'm gonna get this started up I'll get right back with you here
Now, the reason I did not square this log up, and I'll show you that in another video. I'll show you how to take off the one of these to start. But uh, the reason I did not square this up, this is barn siding. This is my barn lumber. Um, it's a 200-year-old barn, so it's all erratic anyway. So I don't have to have a certain size. Now, if I was going to cut all one by sixes or something, I would cut them, you know, I would square it up to six inches. But doing this, this enables me to just take off from one point. Because you lose a lot when you go to do it a different way. When you go to square it up, you'll lose a lot of that wood. Now, what I can do there is I can measure over off of that line. I can come over uh, six, seven inches, whatever I want, whatever I think I can get there. Looks like I should be able to get seven inches all the way. So mark out seven inches. Mark yes, seven inches off the line. All right. Now I get set up. And I'll just cut this with a circular saw. I could easily cut it with my chainsaw, different saw, but I'll just cut it out with a circular saw and go with it. in there like I said it's all erratic uh, but th this is what we got square them up I can square them up like this you know for for this particular thing it's good like I said you have to square the whole log up if you wanted a certain size but, uh, we'll get more in depth into it um, now I'm gonna go put this on my barn all right y'all have a good day thanks for watching